God is interested in all areas of our lives. Most people don't believe this, but it's true. God loves us more than we can imagine and is always concerned with directing our steps. When it comes to both big and small decisions, God wants to be involved. And if we're willing to listen to Him, He will lead us in the right direction. For example, marriage is very important to God. This is one of the key areas of our lives, so God truly wants us to get it right. Among the many things that a marriage is designed for, God also uses it to reveal His relationship with the church. This is why God has such a high standard for marriage. Here are a few things that you'll see when God is showing you your spouse. 1. You'll see clear signs. God speaks to us in different ways and at different times. The more serious the issue is, the more He speaks to us about it. How we perceive God speaking to us greatly depends on our relationship with Him. We might not know that He's reaching out to us when we're unfamiliar with Him. For example, you'll always know the voice of a loved one. Sometimes it seems like a loved one spoke to you, but you're not sure. After a while, though, you'll be able to confirm if your loved one was truly speaking to you or not. We need to realize this. We may not be sure that God is speaking to us, but we can confirm after a while that He is in fact speaking, if we have a close relationship with Him. God does this so we will not be confused about who to marry. He'll most likely use the usual normal channels He uses to speak to you, and then back it up with other channels. If God usually speaks to you through dreams, He'll most likely show you through dreams that a certain person is your spouse. Adding to this, He might give you peace about this person. He might also send others to tell you how you and this person would make a great couple. It will seem like everything revolves around this person. We must be eager to take note of every way that God speaks to us. 2. It will feel right. There will be no mistake about your feelings concerning this person. While you may have doubts occasionally since it's a big decision, you'll feel deep down that this person is right for you. You may have had an opportunity to interact with this person on so many levels and through that experience realize that you both may work out. You'll feel confident that God has orchestrated everything to bring you together. You'll feel connected to them, and they will feel the same way. For example, when Adam met Eve, he said, This is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. When he met Eve, he could tell she was right for him. Another example is Isaac. Abraham, Isaac's father, had male servants and female servants, and was living in a land that wasn't isolated from his family. Yet, Isaac didn't seem to recognize that anyone around was right enough for him. In Genesis 24, Abraham found a way to get a wife for his son Isaac, and immediately after Isaac saw her, he knew she was the one. Since he had previously lost his mother, the Bible states that he became comforted by her presence. We can deny the feeling all we want, but most times, for true believers, we will know if that person is right for us. 3. You will see that our relationship with God will not diminish. Marriage doesn't define our relationship with God, but our relationship with God defines marriage. A lot of people make mistakes when they're choosing spouses. They reject who God wants for them and stay with people they're not supposed to be with. When this happens, their relationship with God begins to dwindle. One of the first things God highlights is that the person He wants you to be with is a believer who's serious about Him and who is intentional about Him. God loves us too much to allow us to be yoked with unbelievers. This is because He already knows that these unbelievers will turn our hearts away from Him with their wicked ways. So one of the things God will show us is that this person is very committed to Him and improves our relationship with Him. This person won't encourage you to sin or to disobey God in any way. This person will be more than willing to honor God in the relationship and put in place systems and structures that will keep you from displeasing God. Together with this person, you both will glorify God in your relationship. When your relationship doesn't distract you, but helps you grow in God, it's a sign that God is showing you who your spouse is. We should always remember that our relationship with God comes first, before marriage. 
Eternal life isn't based on how great our marriages are, but how great our relationship with God is. Four, you'll see that you're prepared for your spouse. As opposed to what many people think, God prepares us before He uses us. Most people don't realize this because they don't place value on God's way of doing things. God doesn't do things any old way. God is a God of order. He has principles. But humans always try to bend God's standards to fit their lawlessness and selfish desires. Unfortunately, this sometimes applies to the church. Adam never wished for a companion. It was God that decided it wasn't good for Adam to be alone. Adam wasn't aware he was alone. But when Eve came, he realized it. So Adam was able to identify what was missing when he saw Eve. He was prepared to meet her, and so she came. This is also true for the rest of us. Being idle and refusing to be productive or refusing to walk with God concerning certain areas of our lives is doing us a disfavor. This is because God wants us to be good enough for the person He wants us to be with. The way He trains us is also how He trains them, so you can recognize them when they come. None of us is perfect, but we have partners who can complement us. So God will often train us to go on with marital relationships when we meet the one He has for us. Learning never stops, but there must be a required entry level for different activities, and this is the same for marriage. We can only see what God is showing us when we have a relationship with Him and when we care enough to know what He has to say to us. If we truly desire to see what God is showing us regarding our spouse, we should consider doing these three things. The first is have a genuine desire to please God. If we don't have this, there's no way we can see God show us our spouse. Sometimes we can be disappointed in God's ways because we can't see the result. But when we desire to please God, we'll seek to obey God despite our own dispositions. It's much easier for us when we've achieved this state of heart called a surrendered heart. The second is pray. We can't see what God is showing us when we don't communicate with Him. So we need to ask Him what He's showing. We need to plead with Him to open our eyes to see more clearly. This is very important. The third is to study the Word of God. This is the primary way we see what God is showing us. More than any other channel, God has chosen to speak through His Word in these last days. Not opening the Word of God means that we're not ready to see what He's showing us. We can have a blissful marriage when we choose to walk with God, and this is based on obeying the instructions He gives us. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you, and God bless you.